In 2009, in the middle of the European elections, uh, McShane said that I'd taken £2 million of public money through expenses and that this was absolutely shameful and wrong um, and he fought a big campaign against me over misuse of money, all the while that he was submitting basically fraudulent claims to Parliament. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, this is personal, it's the biter bit and I don't think he deserves sympathy from anybody. Right, you've done the personal bit. Let's talk about the political bit. What needs to change by way of the system now to make this sort of thing less likely? Well, this, of course, did happen under the old system. I think it's quite important that people get a handle on that. You know, we're going back to the period here of 2005 to 2008. Uh, whether the new system um, is going to stop this sort of thing happening in the future, I don't know. Um, I think there is some confidence uh, that perhaps IPSA, uh, which is the organisation overseeing this, is, is doing a better job. Um, MPs find it slightly penny-pinching in its attitude and they don't like it, but that again is a reflection of public opinion. So let's hope that this system is, is, is well, it won't be foolproof because no system is, but I think there is some reason to think that it's better than what we had before. And more transparent? Um, yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, the trouble is you will always get these loopholes. And in the case of McShane, you know, submitting invoices from different groups and companies uh, without declaring the fact that he was actually running the bank accounts, it, it, it's never, you will never have a system of parliamentary expenses that is absolutely foolproof. That can't happen. But I do think where we are now with MPs' expenses is probably in the right place, given the degree of public anger over this issue. Sure. Uh, you're well placed to, to talk about MEPs' expenses as oh, well. Yeah. I mean, are we talking about a system there that is beginning to improve? Uh, well, the biggest racket of all used to be the travel expenses. Uh, you remember the famous story, you buy a Ryanair ticket but get reimbursed for business class, and that went on for 25 years. That's now changed. Uh, but the rest of the MEP expenses system is very much more a European approach to these things, not a British approach, um, and there is very little transparency in that system at all. Um, and it's worth remembering that MEP's total expenditure and allowances are very much bigger than those at Westminster. What about the wider view of politicians within this uh, morass of expenses? Are you seeing any change there yet? Well, certainly in Brussels there is no change at all and there is not going to be any change. Uh, culturally, Europe views these things very differently. The view in Europe is that, it, is that politicians aren't paid very much and they should be able to make up the extra through expenses which they claim but don't really spend. Uh, clearly, we had gone down that path in the United Kingdom. You know, that during the 70s and 80s people were told, look, the salaries aren't huge as an MP, but you can make it up on the side. It's that culture uh, that, that the Daily Telegraph exposed a couple of years ago. Um, and as I say, I think the balance now in Westminster looks about right to me. I hope I'm not proved wrong.